Cheers. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is 9.07 a.m. on a Monday, so it's time to get the vlog started. Oh, God. As you can tell, I'm having a little difficulty speaking. My throat is driving me crazy. But today is going to be the... The theme for today is overcoming inconvenient moments in your career. This is a very inconvenient moment. Um, my throat hurts every word I say, but we still got to figure out a way to get to work, be productive. Uh, we may not be able to cold call, but we'll have to replace that with something else. But we still got a busy day. We got some showings in the afternoon. We got some creative marketing we're, we're going to do earlier uh, in the day. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you when, I'll see you when I get to the office. All right, guys, I got my Nyko, or of course the cheaper version, the Equate, or however you pronounce this. I got my tea, no coffee today, just tea. And here's what we're gonna do for the next two hours. We have three clients and we need to schedule showings for. One is for later to, uh, tonight, the other two are for tomorrow. The problem is for one of those two, I forgot to save the property she likes. So I gotta start the whole search over again, find the four that we picked, and then schedule the showings from there. And the most of them are gonna have 24 hour notices, so we gotta get that done. And then we're gonna look up properties for buyers. And then we're gonna have to prospect on social media. And then we're gonna send a um, clever way to reach out to a for sale buy owner again. And finally, we're gonna end the day in the office with some handwritten notes to follow up with a couple of leads. So stay tuned. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's so disgusting. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so hopefully that works and we'll be back in business soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are checking in. It is 11.21 a.m. I just got done with scheduling all the showings, reaching out to everybody, looking up for buyers, etc. So all that work is done. So now it's time to do the follow-up and then we're gonna send a couple of letters and then today we can't really prospect voice-wise. I can't really speak that energetically or that with such impact or enthusiasm i should say so what i'm going to do instead is pretty much i'm going to get on social media and i'm going to start engaging with people there probably on instagram facebook uh, i'm going to post i'm going to post on all the platforms and i'm going to start engaging on all the platforms so that's what we're going to do right now because you know sometimes when you can't prospect over the phones there's uh you got to do something else and i think this vlog is going to serve a great benefit to show that there's not just one way to build a business, right? If I had, if I just do social media prospecting for like 365 days, I promise you the results will be very similar to cold calling. So it all comes down to preference of what you wanna do and anything works as long as you do it long enough. That is what I've learned in this, this here career. So anything works as long as you stay consistent and do it long enough. Interrupting your scheduled programming, uh, just to let you know, if you haven't already liked the video, please hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. And if you're not subscribed and you like this kind of content, uh, this is your first time seeing a video of me. I post a vlog every Monday showing my day, whether it's a good day, a bad day, or I'm doing nothing. And then every week I for, uh, share some kind of an infor informative video from things that I've made, mistakes I've made, lessons I've learned, etc. So subscribe so you can watch all that. All right, so we are done with the handwritten notes and I'm just gonna literally put this in an envelope and mail it out. It is 12.40. I have a watch, I still can't tell time. I'm on, I'm on, a, on, a, on a FaceTime with a, with a fellow agent of mine who is currently prospecting, but uh, he can't prospect by himself. So he needs me there for mental support and that's what I'm here for. But yeah, my work is done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ship this out. And then I gotta send an email to a for sale by owner. What I'm gonna do is, if you've seen some of the earlier vlogs, you know that I used to call the for sale by owners and offer them a free video tour. And obviously there's no hidden agenda, but a lot of people were like super skeptical, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I found this perfect place and the exact market that I wanna kind of dive into, which is Elmhurst. I'm gonna go ahead and instead of give them a call, I'm gonna send them a letter in the mail like we're saying everything I need to say in perfect in the perfect words I need to say them and then I'm gonna follow with the call a week later. So we'll see how this goes. That's the plan. And then after that, to be honest, after that is gonna come the social media posting and commenting. So let's go. All right, it is 2.55 p.m. The letter is all done and I know I typed up a lot but I wanted to be thorough 
it might work or it might flop we won't know until we do it so the key thing to learn from this is uh earlier in the day back in the day i would have a great idea and then overthink the great idea and never do it so now whenever i have an idea i just do it if it doesn't work no big deal if it works fantastic so take that approach don't overthink things if you have an idea try it the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work now i'm gonna go ahead and put this in an envelope and mail it out along with the handwritten note for somebody else and then i have a showing in chicago at 6 30 but if i leave the office at 5 30 it'll be an hour and 15 minute drive so i'm gonna leave now so it's only a 40 minute drive and just hang out at a starbucks over there somewhere then get some more work done so i will see you in chicago Hello, my people, I am in Chicago, more specifically, I'm in the Logan Square neighborhood. Got my white hot chocolate, because you don't want to have coffee at this time of day. And just spend the last couple hours just mostly relaxing and just, you know, uh, catching up on social media, and, uh, going on, the doing the Gary V thing, which is where you look up a hashtag or a location in your market, and you just kind of go and uh, interact with the community, et cetera, et cetera. I don't die crossing this goddamn street. <laughs> Hold on. Anyway, essentially the thing I do is look up like I'm at my market is Elmhurst, so I look up the hashtag Elmhurst, or or I might even look up the actual location or maybe Chicago suburbs, etc. And just go in and see the posts that impact me the most, and I'll comment and engage, etc. That's one way to build your Instagram. Pretty much you can do it on any platform at this point because there's hashtags everywhere. But yeah, that's what I was doing, and then I came across this beautiful quote by Anthony Joshua. If you guys follow fighting, you may have heard it. He said. Don't let success get to your head and don't let failure get to your heart. Ooh, I think that's poetic, but I need to stop talking. But uh, anyhow, here's what we got. It is currently, give it a minute. It's like 6.05, so I'm, I have my showings at 6.30, so I'm going to start heading over there. Maybe just hang out on the street because I got a lot of time today and uh, show a couple of apartments. Go home. We should be home around 8 o'clock today. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the showings are over which means the day is over it is 6 53 p.m i am in chicago i don't know if you can see the background around here but i am on my way home and the day is over i'm gonna go home relax and oh i see a homeless man hold on a second this is one reason i can't come to chicago with any cash because i'm a giver ladies and gentlemen there you go have a good night no problem at all now we did our goodwill for today Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I know it was not an exciting vlog. We didn't do much. We didn't see much. But these are some of the days in business. It's not always exciting, like I always say. So this is the day in the life. And that's why sometimes day in the life ain't so fun. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next week when my throat is much better. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs>